Hey, good afternoon everyone. This is Robbie Berg, a Senior Hurricane Specialist from the National Hurricane Center, live from the NOAA Aircraft Operations Center's uh, WP-3D aircraft, one of the hurricane hunters that flies into the storm. Uh, we're going to take a, a little bit of a path through the uh, plane here in a second, but first I wanted to introduce everybody to Felicia Bowser. She's the meteorologist, meteorologist in charge here in the Tallahassee, Florida office. Uh, we wanted to thank you for hosting such a great event here today. Um, and, you know, I think for the, for the residents of, say, the Panhandle of Florida, you know, what kind of messages do you want them to understand as we start to get toward hurricane season? Oh, absolutely. And thanks for having me here, Robbie. When we get to hurricane season, it officially begins June 1st. Now is the time to prepare. What I like to tell people is that if they have any dead limbs that's, that's across their house, their houses or their roofs, you should get that trim now. Don't wait until June, July or August to get that trim. Just look around your house. Make sure you tie up all those loose ends. And of course, make sure you pay attention to the forecast. Go to weather, go to the weather service forecast. Uh, website which is weather.gov and for us it's forward slash Tallahassee and of course go to the Hurricane Center's website which is www.nhc.gov and that's where you get the latest information so you need to be situationally aware and you need to prepare now. Great. Thanks, Felicia. So for anybody in the Tallahassee area that might want to come out to see the plane this afternoon, what time are, are the tours open for the public? Absolutely. The tours are open to the public at 1.30 this afternoon, Eastern Time, and it goes until about 4 o'clock. The gates close at 3.30, so make sure you're in before 3.30. Awesome. Well, come on out if you're in the Tallahassee area and you have the time. If you don't have the time, luckily we're going to do a little bit of a tour here of the aircraft. Uh, so thank you, Felicia, for your time. So first up, we've got uh, engineer Nick Underwood uh, from NOAA's op Aircraft Operations Center. So Nick, one of the guys, things that you guys do is obviously you fly into the storm, through the eye wall, and into the eye, and you're collecting a lot of data. So I see here in your hand you have a drop on. Maybe you can help explain what that does. Absolutely. So this is a GPS drop on. This is pretty much a weather balloon in reverse. So we will drop these from the bottom of the aircraft. They have a parachute that deploys, and as they're floating down, they're collecting us temperature, pressure, humidity, wind speed, and wind direction. And all of that data comes back to this aircraft, and once the sun splashes in the ocean, we send that data off to our friends at the National Hurricane Center so they can incorporate it into those forecast models. All right, and so where do you actually drop that drop sound? <laughs> I load these right into the tube right here, flip a switch up there, and it shoots them out of the aircraft. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So what are the kind of data are you collecting beyond just what is here on the drop sound? Uh, so this aircraft is, in, is instrumented with three different radar systems, one in the nose, one in the belly, and one in the tail. And that tail Doppler radar is one of our most important instruments. It scans vertically from the sea surface up to the cloud tops and really gives us a 3D image of what's going on inside the storm. Great, great. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, so you can see that from the aircraft itself, the forecasters at the Hurricane Center are getting a lot of data about the storm. And that just helps us make a better forecast where the storm is going to be the next five days, how strong it's going to be, etc. So thanks, Nick, for giving a little bit of a demonstration on the drop on. Absolutely. Thank you. Continue with me, Maria. We're going to head up through the aircraft. Hey, and hey, what's going on? So now we're talking to Commander Adam Abbottball from NOAA's Aircraft Operations Center. He is the pilot of this aircraft. So, Adam. What is it like to fly into a hurricane? Uh, that's obviously the number one most popular question we get. Uh, so it, I think it depends. It's like a snowflake. Every pass, every storm is different. Uh, certainly you can expect a lot of turbulence, uh, a lot of wind and rain. It's pretty loud, actually, in the plane. Um, but every pass is fun. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty exciting experience. Right. So NOAA has a couple of different types of aircraft. Uh, we often get the question, do you fly into the storm, around the storm, above the storm? Uh, can you explain that a little bit with the different types of aircraft that NOAA has? Yes, yeah, so we have two different hurricane planes. One is a G4. It flies kind of around and on top of the storm. It collects uh, synoptic surveillance information, so stuff around the outside of the storm. Uh, this particular airplane, the P3s, fly right through the center of the storm. So right through the eye walls, right through the eye, uh, about eight to 10,000 feet. Uh, we'll cut it up like a pizza. We'll do multiple passes every single flight, about eight to nine hours each flight, and uh, send the data back here to the National Hurricane Center. Yeah, so thanks, Adam. So obviously, as you guys can see, this is almost like a, a flying laboratory. There's lots of different workstations here where the scientists are getting their data, uh, collecting the data about the storm. Some of it goes into the forecast we're, we're making at the Hurricane Center. Some of it also is used for research uh, that uh, researchers will look at after the storm so that can give us a better idea about hurricanes and help us predict these storms in the future. So uh, thanks for kind of taking a tour of the P3 with us this afternoon. Uh, this is day four of the Hurricane Awareness Tour. Uh, we'll be have one more stop tomorrow in Marathon in the Florida Keys. Uh, so join us then. We'll, we'll try and do another live stream to close out the week. And with that, uh, thanks again, Adam, yeah. and everybody, all the crew here uh, 